Star by Choice back once again with another fantabulous video. Um, it's finally here. It finally came in. I've been waiting and waiting. I did a pre-order and uh, it's supposed to have come out on Tuesday, which it did, but it didn't get here to the house until today, Friday. So, unboxing. It's from the GameStop. Uh, I do have a slight issue. There's a crease back here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a crease, and I'm hoping that has no. Uh, it, I, I'm hoping that it didn't transfer over to the actual item purchased. Uh, but one way to find that out is to open it. So here we go. like it might be an issue. Here it is, Grand Theft Auto 5. This is the uh, special edition. I um, went ahead and pre-ordered special edition because of the fact that uh, I wanted to get some of the special features they came with. So I went and got that. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Now it has a dent in the cardboard sleeve, which I'm not too concerned about the cardboard sleeve. It's what's inside the cardboard sleeve I'm worried about. So, oh God, please don't be messed up. Uh, slightly, there's a little ding in it. But it's a steel box. It comes with this steel box uh, edition. It's my first pre order steel box. I usually don't go for the uh, expensive uh, boxed items, but I was curious. Alright, so it's got two discs in here. It's got the atypical manual. This is actually way, way slimmer than Grand Theft Auto's in the past, which is kind of sad because I like looking at the uh, radio stations and see who's on there. So I guess I'll go on the website and find that out. Not as much fun. Then it came with this huge map of Los Santos. That's Spanish for the Santos. So we got, looks like it goes like this, it's Blaine County, Los Santos County. On the back it's got some more detailed, uh, looks like we got the vine wood hills right there. So that's cool. And then, let's see. Looks like it comes with a blueprint of the city, which is, I guess, essentially the same thing as a map, but in blue, blueprint form. So there's that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm going to go ahead and probably put that up on my wall one of these days soon. So that came with a special edition. Let's see. And then I got a code here for uh, bonus outfits, tattoos, and more. Uh, stunt plane trials, special ability boost, uh, the atomic blimp, and additional weapons. So I guess that's punching the code they put here in the back, and I get me some goodies. So that's cool. So that's essentially it. The only other thing I got was a. Uh, let me show you the, the still box. It looks really cool. And then on the back, it's got this. Uh, it's got them all geared up. And like I said, it's got a little little dent in it, which sucks, but. 
What can you do? So that is the Grand Theft Auto 5 Special Edition unboxing. I know there's probably 900 million unboxings on here already. All done on the day of release, but I just got it in the mail today, which sucks. They didn't offer any kind of they didn't offer any kind of a uh, day release shipping. They, I could have paid eight dollars for shipping, and it could have been here on day one probably. But I wasn't gonna pay eight dollars shipping. But when I did pre-order though, it gave me this uh, cool poster, which is box art, and then on the back it's got this. Woo woo! So that's pretty cool. Now I know there's the, the collector's edition that comes with a bunch of more stuff, but I just couldn't see spending the extra fifty or sixty dollars or whatever it was to get it. Um, paying eighty dollars for what I got was uh, enough. So it would have been an extra fifty or sixty dollars on top of the eighty I paid. So yeah, the only way I'm gonna do something like that is maybe for the uh, Batman Arkham Origins that was coming out for that. Looks like it'd be well worth the hundred dollars. So I might go ahead and pre-order that now, so I can get it guaranteed. So the only reason it got shipped, this got shipped here, is because of the fact that uh, they were sold out in store of all the special editions. I could have gotten the collector's edition, I could have gotten the regular edition, but I wanted this particular one, so they shipped it to my house, and this is what happens: crease in the in the cardboard sleeve, dents in the steel box. I don't know. Oh, before I forget though, um, I do have a, a little find that I got today from a uh, from a thrift store. Um, now, mind you, it's only fifty cents, but it is well worth the to pay fifty cents. It's uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Music for the people. It's got the disc and the booklet. And this is it's just fine me. I picked it up, looked at it, put it down. Then I was like, it's only fifty cents. I got I gotta pick it up. So I grabbed it. Alright, but that's it for me. I mean nothing more, nothing less. Um I do have a few things going out for trade already. They will be set off in the morning. Um I I wanted to get them off sooner but I, uh, so, as always, naive by nature, retired by choice. Peace.